Thanks for checking out my video. If you want to learn more from me, I have a lot of classes on Udemy. You can find the links to a lot of those in the description. Okay, so routines, daily practices, different stuff like that. So this is going to be very, very, very basic. If this might just be a review for you, then I hope that it helps to refresh a couple things, give you some fresh ideas on stuff. And if this is totally new, then definitely follow me for more. I'm more I'm more regularly posting up some shorts, and I'm also posting up some here on YouTube, and then I'm also posting some more stuff up on Instagram. Anyways, hopefully I can keep with that routine. But so daily practices. So what I want you to focus on is you feeling good, right? Everything that we do should make us feel positive. And a lot of times how we start things like how we start our day when we wake up or how we start our work day when we get there can really dictate or lend itself towards us having a good time or a bad time. And we don't want to leave ourselves unprotected, let's say. So grounding is one of the biggest things that you can do. You can do this even when you're laying in bed or when you get up and you have your coffee and stuff and you just sit there. You can visualize, you know, get meditate on a regular basis, by the way. I think this is a subtext for like everything on my channel that I talk about, but meditation on a regular basis helps you to build metacognition and it helps you to understand you and you to be the master of your own thoughts and therefore your own actions and helps you to connect with the energies that you work with in magic and what have you. But when you're sitting there with your first cup of coffee or maybe after you've eaten breakfast or something, just take a couple of minutes and sit and push your energy towards the floor, right? And then you can visualize this through like a root growing through the ground and connecting with your root chakra or, you know, the base of your spine or what have you. I just see it as an energetic cord. I don't like the motifs of, of nature and stuff. It just doesn't fit with me, but it might work with you. You know, you sit there and you picture that energetic connection between you and the earth. And then also picture a connection between the sky or way, way up there and your head. So you're balancing in between the up there and the down there as above, so below, you know, and sit there. And breathe it in. And every time you breathe in, feel a pulse of energy coming in from the top and the bottom. And when you breathe out, give that energy back and go back and forth as you breathe. You know, one, two, one, two, in, out, in, out, standard breathing meditation stuff. And do this for a good couple of minutes. I would suggest five to ten minutes if you can get there. Maybe you want to start with two. And let's remember with meditation, every time that you your, your brain strays and you're going one, two, one, two, what's for dinner later, bring it back one, two, one, two as you're breathing. And then let's say you take a shower in the morning or at night, make that intentional. When you have the water flowing on you, think about the, the water as flowing away negativity and any negative thoughts that you might have from earlier that day, the night before, maybe you had a bad dream, something like that. Anytime that you drink water, you know, or any liquid for that matter, even coffee, you can sit there and you can hold the cup and put your intentions in, into that. You know, what do you want to bring in for the day? I want to bring in positive energy. I want to bring in manifestation. I want this drink that I'm having to help me feel good to accomplish A, B, and C. Because as research shows, intentions can actually program the molecular structure of water and therefore that would function with coffee or anything else because there is water in it. So energetically, we change the world around us, right? So we got to take advantage of that. Even when you're brushing your teeth, what are you bringing in and what are you getting rid of? You wash your face, you are washing off what? And you are cleaning your face in order to show what? Have everything that you do have intention along with it. Yeah. This is just a little bit because I don't want to go too deep into it, but let me know what you guys think about this one. What other kinds of routines might you have that you kind of put a magical slash spiritual spin on? Let me know. Good hunting.